Are you or a loved one dizzy, tired, having trouble sleeping or remembering things? If so, this is a sign that you might be on too many medications or not the right dose for you. Polypharmacy. 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 Deprescribing. Polypharmacy. Deprescribing drugs. The Health Depot Pharmacy, where health comes first. Hi, my name is Andy Doddle, Certified Geriatric Pharmacist and CEO of the Health Depot Pharmacy. Today I'm going to talk to you about the problem of polypharmacy, why it's a growing problem, but most importantly, how we can help fix it. And finally, I'll tell you how we can help personalize medications to you. To start off, what is polypharmacy? In simple terms, it literally means taking five or more medications. And as you see here, in 2016, this was a big problem in Canada, with two-thirds of seniors taking five or more medications. Too many medications can have a drastic effect on patient safety. In seniors, a third of all hospital visits are due to them taking at least one potentially inappropriate medication, a beers list medication. No, not that kind of beers list. This one, a 21-page list of drugs that should not be taken in older adults. The point is that there are much safer alternatives to treat the same conditions. Yet 31% of all seniors are regularly taken at least one of these medications. Why do medications accumulate? Well, as we age, our bodies slow down, including our kidneys and our liver, which causes medications to stick around a lot longer. With our bodies continually changing, this poses an important question. Shouldn't our medications and their doses continually be changing too? Simple answer is yes, they should. Being tired, confused, and dizzy all the time suggests your doses might be too high or you might be on too many medications. Dizziness can lead to falls, and falls can lead to broken hips, long hospital stays, and poor health outcomes in older adults. However, in the past, you need to be admitted to the hospital to get great collaborative care. As in the hospital, doctors often work together with pharmacists, with blood work and feedback from the nurse, and can personalize medications to what you need. I've heard of numerous stories of older adults going into hospital on 15 to 20 medications and leaving on five. With so many unnecessary medications needing to be de-prescribed, you might ask, how did this happen and who's to blame? Often people are quick to point fingers at doctors, yet this could not be further from the truth. You see, doctors and pharmacists both have four years of complementary teaching. Doctors do 95% of their schooling on diagnosing and 5% about medications while pharmacists do the opposite. Yet when they graduate, doctors, for all intents and purpose, are expected to do their job and the pharmacist's job. It's the system that has not enabled pharmacists to help out. The lack of shared health information in the community setting has meant that pharmacists have not had access to important information in the past, such as diagnosis, special support, and blood work. But it's exciting that we now do. With Clinical Connect, doctors and pharmacists are able to share and have access to health records in real time such as doctor reports, drug history, and blood work. Certified geriatric pharmacists can work together with your doctor and use this blood work to help personalize medications based on how your body processes them. Certified geriatric pharmacists have specialized knowledge on how to adapt medications to our bodies as we age. After all, you shouldn't have to fall and break your hip and go to the hospital to get personalized care. Going forward, let's prevent that. It's time to let pharmacists help. Let's bring that collaborative care from the hospital setting and bring it into the community. Are you or a loved one tired, in pain, having trouble sleeping or dizzy all the time? If so, you might not be on the right medications or doses for you. Contact the Health Depot for a free consultation. We can help. Thanks for listening. If you enjoy this content, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like more pharmacy content on other health topics, please leave a request in the comments. And if you'd like a little bit more information on some of our other great health services, have a look at the links below. And remember, we're always available and happy to help at... The Health Depot Pharmacy, where health comes first.